Hello! In our today's video, we will explain how to compensate oscilloscope probes and why it is necessary. By compensation, I mean adjusting the probe capacitance according to the input capacitance of oscilloscope channels. This is required for proper signal display. Just for this, each probe has an opening where a special screw is located. There is a capacitor with variable capacitance inside. A special screwdriver, which is included in the package content of the oscilloscope, is used for calibration. You will not be able to properly calibrate the probe with a regular metal screwdriver. Therefore, only this screwdriver should be used for this process. So, how to calibrate a probe? First of all, divider should be set in 10 to 1 mode. And the probe should be connected to the input channel. In our case, it's channel 1. Every modern oscilloscope has a calibrating meander output like this with 3 volts of amplitude and 1 kHz frequency. It is used specifically for probe calibration. Probe has been connected and we can press the auto button right away. Our result doesn't really look like a meander, although it should. It's even drawn right here. What we see here means that our probe is undercompensated. Let's use our screwdriver to slowly turn the screw. This is how the meander should look like. This, on the other hand, is called overcompensation. Our probe is probably calibrated now. Let's repeat the process for channel 2 and the second probe. Switch on channel 2. As we can see, overcompensation is present in this case. We can switch on both channels now. Well, looks like both probes are calibrated. This procedure should be completed every time the probes are changed, when you buy new ones for example or even if you are switching the probes between input channels 1 and 2. Oscilloscope is a very precise piece of equipment, and even the smallest change in capacitance can have an impact on the end result. I would also recommend using markers, these little rings right here, the same ones as here as well, to know where each probe should be connected. I have picked a yellow probe to match with this yellow color on the oscilloscope and this pink one with this one. A set of markers of different colors is included in the package content of the probes, in case your oscilloscope has other colors. It's very convenient, and you will never mix them up. Well, thanks for watching! Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to our channel!